Well, if anybody laughs, you scare me. You I, I'll be honest. I'm, I'm trying not to look at your part of the screen. It's it's a little upsetting. It's not um, that bad. It's not that bad. I agree. It's a happy clown. Um, but yeah, at least it's happy. But the thing about clowns is that they're always happy until they're not. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, like at first, they're always yeah. so quick, 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 and then it's just pulling your intestines out with a with a spit, cranking it while they 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 get slowly drawn out of you. Click, 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 click. Sounds just, like that movie, yeah. The Terrifier, which I haven't seen, but I'm familiar. I with. haven't seen it. I watched I have the first seen five the Terrifier. Minutes. I watched five minutes of the Terrifier and just like, oh, you haven't seen the Terrifier. <laughs> Terrifier, it's so Terrifier, and Terrifier Two. Uh, and, that's what uh, Hallows Eve or whatever the first one is, the yes. little prequel short film, I think. Yeah, this uh, that, what's man. crazy. Torture. What's crazy about this is that uh, Art the Clown, that guy, yeah. is I didn't think like I didn't think my whole life that I would get oh, another like iconic <laughs> horror person like and when I say iconic like obviously you have like the S tier OGs Michael Myers Freddy Krueger uh, uh, Jason mm -hmm. but then like you know Ghostface and like you know there's been some others yeah, that yeah. are like in the mid area you know, like for me like yeah uh, uh, Leatherface saw. yeah uh, exactly Jigsaw and Jigsaw. like that was like uh, like almost two decades ago and then horror did something else but to get like an iconic horror persona I will tell you I have never seen someone climbed the ranks so quickly hmm. in my books of uh, a horror guy like this guy he's got like like i i just gotta tell you like it's the funniest thing is he it's grounded in reality kind of like what happens but also not mm -hmm. but like grounded in reality and that like i've seen in in times like and this is his stick just like freddie might have a catchphrase is like he's got things that you like he's got rules like everyone does sometimes like he'll i've seen him get bested and he'll pull out a gun and just shoot them. <laughs> it's like the whole hunting oh, and getting hit and running and hiding. And then it's like, as soon as he loses the upper hand, he literally has a gun on him and pulls it out. And like, so is, it, is it a film series you'd recommend? I'm a longtime horror fan. I have some sub to shutter, watch all that fucked up stuff. But it seemed like a little mean spirited. It didn't seem like it would be funny. It just seemed like if I watched the terrifier, it would give me depression. Gore for the sake of gore, cruelty for the sake of cruelty and nothing else kind of reminds me of maybe like a live action version of a a guru manga or something like that yeah it's kind yeah, of what the, it, the, the movie is, is like he's, yeah. it's like what i look at it is it reminds me of those times like those movies like 2004 like going to rent a movie at blockbuster and you go home and you're like i understand why this isn't the biggest thing but like damn we got a little gem over here uh so like um for me what was like is it mean for the sake of being a lot of them are like questions that like I, I i wouldn't be able to give an answer outside of my opinion but i could tell you what attracted me to it was there there are these moments where like the the two girls are it's very at the beginning two girls are sitting with him with the at the pizza place and he's just there and you're getting the guy but he's like under a bright light and like people are around and he's like right there like five feet away and, and they don't realize that da how dangerous this guy is yet and that movie hasn't shown us but you just know because we're watching a horror movie and the tension in that moment is just so well done that like things are happening and you're like oh my god don't do that you're like like look at this person why are you touching him like there's just things oh, there they're like, they're like look at the clown they're, like, they're doing shit them. like that like one girl there and her friend is like that. don't and but like the tension in that scene like for example except the tone for me moving forward and because the guy who plays art the clown just kills it he just just like Robert England as Freddy Krueger, like he's, he's just creepy. this guy, and and yeah, it's, I didn't it's like, like how they, they do that trope. You're talking and about there is just about for the, ask about the, for the more, sake of uh, the girls, like they like the the people. There that is do a lot of way him, over the top, and he's like, like it's Kyle. He's not like a clown that's like doing a fake like smile in public they're like look at this scary clown oh or look at this silly clown and, and it's like, like ah. he has like like blood actively on him he has like, like, like dirty like, teeth like, he's like dirty, dirty blood teeth. stained yeah. teeth 
Like he clearly just was eating. And something. while and while her friends like Bob, she's like he's like staring like it's, he's really just like for the like the girl. If you imagine her like that's just like a creepy ass fucking guy in a scary costume yeah. sitting over there. But he's like staring at her. But no one um, would fuck with that guy. And re- it's like, no, it literally feels like like imagine if you saw like a chained up pit bull with foam <laughs> on its mouth. And it is the it's thing is. It, it, away from you and it's but they did he did you and you're he like did you something. Scary, i mean realistically you? would you fight a clown you're in public and let's say you run into me and i'm looking very angry would you say yeah you know what i'm gonna fight a clown here in the 7-eleven that's no, gonna go well they do the, did, he do does he covers his flat. base he covers his base a little bit the the girl that does it she has her phone out and she's making, she's taking pictures, like content of it. So once you add that factor, I I, I said this to you before, like d- things like over the last few years, I used to see dumb shit in movies and I'd be like, no one would ever fucking do that. Mm-hmm. Now I know humans enough to be like, oh, there are people that will absolutely do that. Yep. There are people that will do it. There are, are, are girls, guys that'll take their phone out and want to film next to them and do some dumb yep. shit. And like, I that. have seen people you said i used an animal as an example i've literally seen people some woman holding a bear a baby bear for a picture and then the bear's just like face claw on her face yeah exactly and i was like and i was like that's yeah why'd you hold the fucking bear why'd you hold the bear you could fuck a bear in Baldur's gate three by the way yes you can (laughs) and you you could could fuck fuck someone as a bear i watched the movie on shutter um the other night it was late night i couldn't sleep and uh, i started this thing at like two in the morning and okay. it's called Vampire, V A M P I R, and it's about a Brit who has been hired to babysit a graveyard because vandals are vandalizing it in I can't remember the country. Let's call it it's somewhere Eastern European, Lithuania, like Transylvania, Slovak- Slovakia, this or something. Is the, uh, anyway, the, ni- the 1990s one or the 1932 one? It would have been it's newer for sure. I mean, he did probably, probably watch a lot really of movies. Newer. But he tells them um, now the clown um, costumes look a little autistic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so oh, the deal yeah. is he's uh, it's a vampire movie. Obviously, he's there, but he does. Hung, he's in Hungary. He doesn't speak the language. That's the point. So it's this really interesting thing, even in modern times, where he's alienated immediately in the village. So that alienated? Kind of covers alienated. Okay. So, you know, he's an outsider. He doesn't even speak the language. the The old ladies will come up to him though. <laughs> I pulled away. <laughs> They'll come up to him and they try to talk to him in Hungarian or whatever the fuck. And and he's like, ah, I don't speak the Eng- I don't speak Hungarian, only English. And 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 then they're like, oh, well, come with us. And they're all smiling and and laughing. And he's like, oh, you want me to have dinner with you? I understand that. And they sort of <laughs> mime it. And then he's like, wait, but you're not having any. You're not. He's he's the only one getting served at this dinner table. Oh. And and they're all looking at him, like watching him, like what. Yeah, eat this now. Now eat this. And he's like, oh, these are, I guess this is like some Hansel you're, and you're, Gretel, man. You're, I guess this is like what you eat here. This is traditional Hungarian weird stuff that you, okay, <laughs> you're not having any. You're not having any. And then he, he, he finally gets really weirded out and he stands up suddenly and they all stand up suddenly and start coming after him. And he just gets out of there. And you're like, okay, okay, that was so weird. That was so weird, but nothing bad has happened. And then he starts having these nightmares where he cannot move in bed and awful things are happening to him that he feels. He feels the pain and he wakes up the next day crying because of what happened last night in his dream-esque thing. Like this old lady's sitting on top of him, like mounted him and not sexually. Ooh. And she's she's got like a stick that she's wedged into his mouth. And she's oh, like, like pushing sleep paralysis. Face. Yeah, she's pushing his face into the pillow with a stick, you know, into his like sideways with both mm-hmm. of her hands pushing it down. And sh- she's singing some crazy shit, smiling down at him. And she bites her lip hard as fuck and starts drooling blood into his mouth. And he's like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> and, so, and she's going, Oh, Hungarian nonsense. Boo, 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 boo. Yeah. Yeah, it's Dribbling the movie. shit into his mouth. Yeah. <laughs> oh, little, it was actually it was I, I was I was in the moment and then it just became Adam Sandler. Adam Sandler. Yeah. At the end. Oh, <laughs> you see Drag Me to Hell. You he played like dual roles. I have seen Drag Me to Hell. Yeah. I love that. I love that movie. And I like the cut 
that has like the cartoony there's like two cartoony moments like literally looney tunes like someone's eyes pop out of their skull like mm-hmm. a cartoon i like that yeah. version of it the one where she goes to see the dead body and it, it tumbles out of the coffin and it's almost it's only falling on her but it looks like it's attacking her and it's like yeah, hilarious yeah. physical comedy uh have you guys seen lake mungo Lake yes. Mongo? No. Okay, no, I have not. Spooky. I have not. And I saw the trailer and I was like, this someone someone recommended. I was like, you only get one. Just give me one. And they were like Lake Mungo. Yep. Oh, it's okay. it's a really good slow burn. It's not high pitch. There's no uh sorry, uh high octane. There's no jump scares. It it unfolds in a really believable way. Uh, but it's not particularly scary until that really like uh, it starts getting a little bit uh, weirder near the end because you're kind of like doing a detective story about this missing girl mm-hmm. and it just gets weirder and weirder. Um, I thought mm-hmm. it was great. If I remember correctly, uh, a lot of the police and medical people and blah, 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 they interviewed in the movie as part of like the detective work were real uh, actual professionals, working professionals in New Zealand, like police and stuff. So they're not professional actors and they don't speak like professional actors. So they're incredibly believable. Mm. That's interesting. Uh, I, I might look into that. You guys see Skin and uh, Marink? Yes, yeah. that's a whole oh, like different animal right like there. That one? I like I that one a lot, feelings. but I don't recommend it to people. Exactly. About 5% of people are going to love that, and about 95% of people are going to say, are you stupid? Nothing happened and, in the and whole yeah, movie. And, and, and it's really important. That's terrible. It's movie. really important to watch terrible. that movie alone with the lights off. Headset. Not on your phone. And I know everyone says that all the time. And even better than a headset is if you have like if you can like go to your parents home, if they're still living in your childhood home and you could do that at night in the basement lights the out fuck? there, like that'll fuck you up. You have to find yeah. something from your like if you were born like anywhere from like 1977 to 1992 you have to find your childhood home or something like it and go into the darkest place to watch it. And you can watch it like, I think anyway, I mean, obviously headphones, it's like almost cheating at that point, but like anyway, even like on an old shitty TV would be crazy. Ooh, and it's just see, bizarre. Uh, it, it just feels like scary nostalgia. Like when you were younger, I'll try that you, out. You looked in the hallway and the hallway was dark darker than dark and you just didn't know what you were and you were hearing mm-hmm. but you, it was just like conversations in the other room. There's no other room. Yeah. What are you hearing? It's really crazy. Um, but uh, I, I don't want to recommend it after everything I just said. If you don't like it in the first yeah. 15 minutes, you could probably stop. Yeah. But uh, yeah. Have you seen uh, uh, Barbarian? Love it. Not yes. yet. My wife has. She loves it. So love it's it. great, man. It's that really was such good. a fun. I, I don't watch trailers anymore at all. Um, and if I do, I'll very quickly turn. I'll only watch a trailer of a movie that I have no intentions of watching. And if they yeah. change my mind, I'll immediately turn it off because I know that if I go three quarters of the way into this trailer, they're going to the act. They're going to the third act of the movie. They're, the they're showing me the every- part where they hear literally has get the, rest the end of girl. act one. And you're always blessed with a shot of the final scene. And I always watch trailers and I'm always like, that's the end of the movie right there. Yep. Yeah. I know the end of a movie when I see I see what you've shown me. I'm like, that's the end right there. It's like every trailer does it. Mm-hmm. I wish they did it like Dusk Till Dawn. Did anybody see that in theaters? Because they didn't no. advertise any of the vampires at all. It was and the first hour of the movie is played as a straight up kidnap. Uh, I got it that way. Yeah. Cops and robbers. Yeah. And then out of fucking nowhere vampires and schlocky ones and it was glorious uh yeah. but i'm right there with you on not watching trailers terminator 2 james cameron saw the trailer for terminator 2 when the terminator was like he's never seen terminator 2 uh That's that one. One. oh i i would say if you have to ask me i'd put that number one at your uh the top of your list you don't even need to watch terminator 1 actually terminator 2 <laughs> I know it's crazy how it really doesn't even matter. The the no. more the more mi- there's already a ton of mystery in that world building that the more mystery you're left with is just fine because there's a ton anyways. It's not like it's going to really fill you in on things, but it's also mm-hmm. fun to watch after. But Terminator 2 is my number one favorite movie. It's Damn. the first movie I ever saw in theaters. Uh, I feel like I do what I do today because I saw Terminator 2 like at five years old in theaters. Yeah, you I'm like jealous because like at any moment, if you're like, what should I watch? You could watch my all time favorite movie. <laughs> You've never seen it before. And yeah. and not only that, it's just for on so many reasons to be 2023 and not seeing this movie. 
There's no part of it that you're going to be like, this feels outdated. Not a <laughs> moment. There's really? no, no moment in the, the whole CGI movie. Is super good. Exactly. Maybe the There's not a whole. Scene. There's like that's that's like, but it's gonna feel like Stranger Things kind of like Stranger Things doesn't feel like outdated. Yeah. It's like, yeah, it's just gonna feel like like now. There's no effect in it or decision mm -hmm. or clothing. Everything is. Per it's still it's the craziest movie. Yeah. <laughs> I watched that whenever. Uh, I watched uh, Terminator I One and Two um, this month, last month, something like that. I went through them again and watched them both. Uh, I love those movies. That was one of my favorites as a kid to watch with my grandmother, Terminator Two. She's a huge Arnold fan. I'm a huge Arnold fan. That movie made me like like now after that, I followed Robert Patrick's career when yep. I saw him in Sopranos playing the gambling addict. I was like, oh, that's fucking that's bad. it's a Terminator. This is cool. Mm -hmm. um, but that scene at the end, it, it, I cried like Terminator 2 makes me made me cry um, a couple times. I've watched it and cried. Is that rated uh, R or PG? -13? Yes, it's R. R. That's what Arnold I is. Uh, Arnold does his best acting of his career, I think, maybe. And that Easily. Movie. seems like he's I think he's trying as hard as he can to be a I'll robot. Say. And he does it very convincingly. <laughs> and this he's actually loops back to what can. we talked about in the very beginning. Uh, you talked about the Toxic Crusaders TV show based on an mm -hmm. R-rated movie. From that era, you had Aliens, Predator, uh, Terminator, Robocop. Rambo. Rambo, yeah, all these fucked up, hyper no, violent R rated movies. Like, you go back and watch Robocop. This is the and Toys like, R Us Isle, yeah, in 1992. All R rated <laughs> and what's movies. What's so funny all about our down. generation is like, that's the, the toy aisle now, yeah, <laughs> like, really, <we're> like, <laughs> like, not like at a Toys R Us, but like, you can go to like EB Games and you or something like a GameStop, and that's what you get is you're gonna get like Alien, Terminator, Robocop, and all those toys were sick. I love that alien. So you got like great. the gorilla alien. <laughs> and I remember like uh, <clears throat> it was my first time when I realized I was woke cuck. I got <laughs> I, I was able to choose any toy and I came home with uh, Ripley from Alien 3. I got oh, there's nothing wrong with that. Nothing Ripley's at all. One of the best all time female action heroes ever. And I, I actually hat. I got like I was in my first mm -hmm. like argument debate like ever when i hung up with my friends and i brought a ripley toy because i brought a bitch to boys night and it was like Describe i was like toy. i'm like i'm like michael your parents don't even let you watch alien 3 you don't <laughs> know what this bitch does bro like you don't even know what a power loader is you have no idea she <laughs> called the queen alien a bitch you don't know shit michael Fuck you, fuck the Ghostbusters. Fuck and Michael. like, and I'm literally like, I, but I remember like just, and obviously I didn't word it that way, but I remember being like, but you don't know anything. Cause I was allowed to watch all these movies. I had like a pay per view. So I was like, oh, yeah. A, I love anything with killing. If I got I just, something and someone's getting killed, there's blood. I'm like, hold up. Hey, I bet you're <laughs> killing squibs. Don't you wish they still had squibs instead of CGI gunshots? Like you go back yeah. and you watch Total Recall and they shoot people and like three gallons of blood. Criterion <laughs> Collection, <laughs> any cra uh, Criterion yeah, Collection, like RoboCop, like what's the Criterion All the Paul Verhoeven like, stuff. It's yep. like their oh, special, uh, the top, the 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 best version, director's version of select like cult movies. Oh, okay. like RoboCop. You get RoboCop and there's like like crazy squib scenes, like with the blood going like that. I bought that for a video once. And like it, they didn't work. And I just remember like we bought it and the guy rigged it up and like did it. And they didn't work really. Only some of them did. And he was like, sorry. And I was like, yeah. He was like, okay. And I was like, here's <laughs> your money. I was like, here's <laughs> your, your money. money. I literally like, I'm just though, right. This, what's that? Aren't they kind of dangerous? Like squibs are little explosives going off, right? I have they no are. idea how they worked. So when they didn't work and he was like, I did, can't do anything about it. I was like, oh, okay. No. I They're, still paid him though, and I was like, "Did I lose just now? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> did I get scammed? Did he know more less than a thousand? Wait, more than a thousand dollars? Yeah, I was asking how much it cost, like a squid. Oh yeah, no, less than a thousand actually. Oh, that's less surprisingly cheap. Yeah, you know, maybe uh, that's Alien why they didn't go off. One. Yeah, well, I Harley, like. That. I'm, I'm glad to hear that you're a man of fine taste and have watched all the best movies. Yes. Well, we're all men <laughs> well, of everybody fine except taste. Taylor. Well, well. You know, Not I just I just have a full, I just have a full catalog of stuff. You guys are jealous because you between, can't watch for between the us time. four, though, between us four white men, we've seen every single movie worth seeing. Yes, probably have you guys seen 100 uh, percent. Yeah, I, I had to watch that with uh, with my high school girlfriend. 
No, I refuse to watch. The, it's the, a good movie. Oh, what no, movie? It's really ugly about the Notebook. I didn't hear it. What movie? The Notebook. The Notebook. Oh, the Notebook no. is when the Notebook ends. Like I promise you, even if you don't say it out loud or if the core, like inside, you're like, okay. <sighs> <laughs> oh, I bet I'd like it. I bet it made me cry though. I'm a pussy about stuff like that. If there's if there's a fucking emotional scene or something, I'll be I'll be tearing up and crying the whole way through. I the hate shit. when a movie's like the boy in the striped pajamas, and I'm like, oh yeah, oh, that's yeah. what I want to do today. The boy I'm cry. Fuck! <laughs> look at the cover. Like I'm sick already in my stomach. Like I'm trying to watch a movie and chill. Is it? It's my yeah. day off. <laughs> I'm fucking get when- attached to a Holocaust baby. And when I watch play it, it through. Holocaust.